channel The Pregnancy Coach. So in the previous video, we have shown you how to take care of your breasts while you're breastfeeding. I'm sure that was extremely informative. But there is one more question I'm sure that's nagging you is that how do I prevent my breasts from sagging? A lot of moms may actually choose to not breastfeed thinking that it is breastfeeding that actually makes the breast sag. So not true. Pregnancy changes the shape and size of your breast and that's what continues even post delivery. So it's not breastfeeding. It's not the baby suckling at your breast which is going to make the breast larger. However, because the breast has gained in size and girth, you definitely need to support it. You definitely need to strengthen those chest muscles so that your breast can be firm and not sag when you are done with breastfeeding. And trust me, you have to do this every single day. Now, one of the most important things to remember is the type of delivery you've had before you start any of these exercises. In a vaginal birth, you can actually start right from day one. But if you've had a cesarean section, you might need to need to wait for a few days before you start doing any of these exercises. After all, you're still recovering, isn't it? So what are we waiting for? Are you ready to learn? And do you know what? I have three really simple exercises for you to do, which you can do at home. You don't need any equipment. You just need to find a few minutes of your time to get these done. So the first exercise is really very, very simple. All you need to do is bring your hands together like this. Make sure that your arms are at shoulder height, just like this. So this is the Namaste pose. But we don't stop here. What we're going to do is fight each hand against the other. Just fight, hold this for a count of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. When you're doing this, you should be feeling a stretch here on the side of your chest. Now, how about doing it with me this time? So come on, let's bring your hands together. Make sure that those arms are at shoulder height and let's fight one hand against the other for a count of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, and release. For my next exercise, all I need you to do, and you can do this sitting or standing, is raise your hands up like this, stretch them high above your head, and try to lengthen your body as much as you can. Just hold that for a count of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, and release. Make sure that your breathing was normal while you were doing that. Do you want to try it with me? Let's do it together. Take your hands, raise them high above your head, and for a count of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and release. So when you raise your hands up, you're going to feel a lift in this area. And now for the third exercise. What you need for this one is a wall. Now I'm sure you have that in your house, isn't it? So let's dive straight into exercise number three. Turn towards the wall, place your palms on the wall, arms are at shoulder height, and your fingers are pointing towards each other. Make sure your body is tall and straight. And now slowly, do a wall push up. Bring yourself in and out. In and out. Do it one more time. In and out. And one last time. In and out. 
Wasn't that really, really easy to do? So those are your really, really simple three easy exercises. The first was fighting the hand against each other. The second, raising your arms straight above your head and elongating your body. And the third was wall push-ups. How many counts should I be doing of this? Start with about 8 to 10 every day and as your strength increases, you can increase the number of counts. But don't forget to do them every day. This is a great exercise routine to add to whatever else you're doing in the post-delivery period to help to strengthen your chest. I'm sure you love this routine and you're definitely going to benefit from this. So keep watching, make sure you subscribe, share, like, and keep those comments coming. It really, really helps us to create content which is beneficial to you. Uh, we can always keep posting from our end, but if it helps you and it's what you're looking for, then I'm really happy to do that for you. Have a great day.